I want you to notice this is you at full anchor point. And I, I, I know, dude, this is unfair. Um, but this is Chapman at full anchor point. And now just notice the first thing off the bat. Okay. It's probably the, the, the torso. Now, a lot of guys, I'll actually teach a little bit more torso, like trunk flexion into landing to have more energy to block by the lead leg. But with you, I, I do think that uh, we can look at your long toss throw to see like, all right, what is your body telling you in terms of how it creates power output? And I do think the, the, the torso, the trunk upon landing is a huge piece to that, maintaining energy in the drive leg. Um, and then the, the, the rear foot positioning gives us a pretty good indication of like your hip rotation timing and creating as much stretch and, and separation as possible. You actually create a good amount of separation I saw from the back view. Um, but I think there's always more that we can have. You said the thing about the arm action. I'm, I'm okay with where you're at. Yeah, it gets a little long, but I don't think your body slows itself down to have the arm catch up. I don't think you get put into a terrible position as you can see here in, in landing. Um, but I, I do think that maybe your trunk is going to be pulling early. It's going to start to rotate early. You can see uh, Chapman's glove side here and you can see his elbow a little bit more into retraction. There's a study that they did um, about like what is the biggest thing that jumps out with guys that throw hard like what is the what is the biggest like lowest hanging fruit that we can pick and it's scap retraction at anchor point so full anchor point the lead leg takes on load or force and where is the sh horizontal shoulder abduction at that point in time guys like chapman are exceptionally well um let me pull up i just said exceptionally well that's not even a friggin' word sentence whoa boom anchor point that's stupid and the camera's a little tilted so it's it's going to look a little bit different but that's stupid right so um with all that being said now you're asking like okay well how do we get that i really do think it comes from the drive leg i think um when our drive leg kind of just folds and collapse early i think that throws off the entire alignment of the body and that's going to then affect your lead leg block as well all right dudes robbie Rowe here thank you for watching that video if you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.